Welcome back to the channel, guys and girls. We're all packed up here. We got everything, sleeping bag, sleeping pad, tent, fishing gear, camera gear, everything that we need for an overnight. And uh, this month's post fly stuff. We have some dry flies in there and some uh, cups and stuff, some really cool stuff that I'll show you guys later. If you wanna get your post fly box, uh, use Bend at 10, and the link for that will be in the description. We're gonna be hiking out in the woods and uh, I'm kind of nervous. This is my first time ever camping by myself in the middle of literally nowhere. So. We're gonna be hiking out, having a grand old time, all along for the ride. Just our little springs back here, and barrel tied to a tree. Pretty sure that's a fading spot for a bear. I am not sleeping here. And like always with these, uh, these big old flies and these little tiny fish, we wanna smash that barb over, and you'll lose a little bit more fish, but that's okay. These fish will be you know, here the next time, and the next time, and the next time. We're gonna put that dry shake right in our back pocket. There we go. I was dozing off. Oh, he's wrapped around a street. Dozing off on that one. Beautiful fish. Water feels good. We want to make sure we check all of these little tiny, ooh, tiny pockets like right that one right there. Ooh, I missed him. Ooh, see that rise up there? That's what we're after up there, right there. See if we can't go get a an edible sized fish up here. Very, very quietly. This is way lower than it was a week and a half ago. Tiny, tiny ones. Let's see if there's anything at the head of the pool here. See them. See a micro fish. I know there's some bigger ones in here. Ooh. There's one. Absolute gorgeous fish. Let's go uh, upstream a little bit more, of course. Ooh, there's a bigger one. Oh, he's off. Oh, there we go. Instant fish. <laughs> he fell off because I wasn't even setting the hook. There we go. That time I got him. Oh, he's off again. Oh, there we go. This is crystal clear and open, so there's probably not gonna be any trout in here. If they are, they're gonna be placed in up and underneath the rocks here because there's too much exposed. Wait for them to get eaten by things. Oh, got one, got one, got one. We're gonna start on the back side of the pool here and work our way up. Best way not to spook anything if they're gonna get line spooked. There we go. There we go. Oh, he was coming right for it. That's another bigger one. Jeez. Oh no, he's off. Oh no. Oh, I 
this thing. Beauty. Here we go. Oh, that was cool. All right, I think we've uh, overstayed our welcome in this pool. It is lower than last time for sure. There's a nicer one. It's a really good day so far. I've kind of plugged up and down the stream. It got worse as I went upstream from where I put in and then kind of worse as I went downstream as I put in. And the water's like probably four inches lower than it was last time. And, and that makes a huge difference when, you know, most of this is like rocks and boulders. But, so we're gonna go pack up and uh, get back in the truck and get a campsite. The place where I wanted to camp in like tent camp, like randomly off into the forest. Uh, I walked in and I found an, an illegal bear baiting spot. And the reason I know it's illegal because there's no tags, there's a piece of paperwork on the ground. Uh, it's not legal anymore. So somebody needs to come back and either relabel it. It looked legit at some point. So I'm gonna call a fishing game anyways and just uh, let them know, give them the coordinates of where it is and uh, tell them that you know it needs to be relabeled. Uh, Cause there's a barrel there and everything. And if Food is there for a bear. I do not want to be sleeping right next to it. Doesn't matter what time of year it is. So, see you back at the truck. All right, we made it to the campsite. Let's get a fire started. Uh, so I can cook some of my ribs that I brought. So we're gonna camp tonight, it's a big open spot, which is kind of nice, not like the stream is literally right there. So I got this uh, big foot bushcraft like, fire starter stuff. It's like these little wax plugs that you can uh, basically throw in water because they're all like wax seal and waterproof. I guess. It actually smell really good. I'm not sure what's in it. Some sort of fuel. Well, that like, like really fast. That was like two strikes and this is still coated. I really wish you guys could smell these, smell these ribs, but they are delicious. Jack Daniels wood chips smoked. And I want to eat one cold because I can't. I'm not in the kitchen. Mmm. Mmm. Way better warm. Since I'm not actually camping in the woods anymore, might as well sleep off the ground in the truck. So this is going to be a truck camping video, which is perfectly fine with me. But get the fire going. I'm going to chillax for a little while. Hop in the back of the truck. See you guys in the morning. I might hop in the river for a little bit in the morning, catch a couple fish, and then we'll head out. Well, good morning. I didn't sleep at all. I didn't fall asleep till probably like one o'clock, and then woke up every, I don't know, hour with animal noises and all sorts of stuff happening around me, but that's all right. We're gonna make some tea and uh, clean up a little bit. Throw a fly in the streamer next to me and then we'll head out. Thank you guys so much for watching.
Let's see if we can just walk from our campsite into a little pool down here that I found last night. Ah! Oh. Finally got one this morning. Off he goes. Well, thank you so much for watching. I know I look exhausted because I am exhausted, but we uh, we put some miles on the boots yesterday and a little bit today. Caught one fish, missed probably four. Um, I don't know why I'm dropping so many fish uh, these, this this trip. No, we don't don't normally do that. Uh, maybe I should. Uh, round the barb over instead of completely smash it. Keep them on for a little bit longer. That hole in the mouth is going to happen anyways, but dropping them halfway off the ground is probably not good. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you want to get your post fly guide box, uh, there's a link in the description below.